This is the Aiguille de Midi, which goes all the way up to the top to near Mont Blanc, I think, anyway. And I've been up there once before, but never in the summer. So I'm going to go all the way up there. I'll probably go there tomorrow or whenever there's good weather. Look at this, it's a tourist train. Nice. I don't look very lively today. So I've run out of water and I've run out of battery. I've used up the first. It's the first time I've ever used up a whole battery on this camera because the battery life on this is insane. I've been filming for about two hours today and only now has the battery run out. However, I need to fill up the water and I've just found, just found a useful little water fountain, which I assume is for drinking, we'll see. and back on the road. Look at all these cute padlocks. I've seen bridges like this all over the world. Let's take a shortcut. Sort of know where I'm headed. I'm headed to a Asian style restaurant where I'm gonna get some noodles and tofu and bok choy and whatever it's called, pak choy. <laughs> and I think it's this way. And then to the right. And then while there's still a bit of daylight, I'm gonna try and go up a little bit of this, this hiking trail by the ski lift. Also just seen the biggest dog in the world. My camera didn't turn on fast enough. I must have gone past it, I thought, for a minute there, I thought that they had destroyed it and that they were tearing it down. I think it's somewhere up here. As you can tell, my sense of direction is terrible. Ah, I knew it was too good to be true. It's been closed. It's been closed. Okay. Well then, where the hell am I going to eat? It's actually quite difficult finding somewhere that's even vegetarian. So I've just called a fast food place, they're closed. This place, the Japanese, is closed, I think. Yeah. Oh, right. Are they open? Ah, they're open. Let me see. Are you, are you open? Uh, sorry, I'm closed. You're closed? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Closed. Looks like I have to find somewhere else. Seemingly nowhere has a veggie burger. Even McDonald's. Looks like it's going to have to be some sort of street food. Sham street food. <laughs> oh no, I've come to a dead end. I need to be across the river. All right, back we go then. That's Le Brevon, I think, which I'm going to go up to the top tomorrow. Now, I'm 
just been informed about a really nice hike to a lake. So you go up, up the ski lift and then the lake is sort of on the left as you are at the top. So tomorrow I think if the weather's good, I'm going to try and do that. But for now, I'm going to test out the spa. There's a spa nearby here somewhere. So I'm going to go back, get my appropriate clothes and then return to the spa. Alright, so after a long day of hiking, I'm going to go to the spa. I need to get swimming trunks. Now, I would go to this water park here, but I'm not allowed to get my new nose piercing into shared water because it will get infected, and I'd rather just not get it infected, to be honest. See, Germany is historically, and pretty much still now, a skiing town, but I think it's actually a really good destination for hiking in the summer because all of these trails suddenly become really good climbs. The only thing is, I would not say it's good for digital nomads. It's very expensive. And the places, the options you have for eating are not very, there's not a lot, you know, in terms of options, unless you're going to cook your own food, which I suppose would be a lot easier, cheaper. There's also not many options for um, vegetarians or even vegans. I think I found about two places in the entire town that have even a vegan option other than chips, which doesn't really count, let's be honest. Really cool looking bar. That's actually where I had chips yesterday. But I'm not going to go the roadway. I'm going to go the interesting way and see some mountains. So that's the lake and the water park where there's one spa over there which is I think 50 euros for the day which I think is way too much even for even for France in the Alps I think it's well I suppose not I suppose it's quite usual for a spa isn't it and then over here up here on the right is where my hostel is so it's in quite a nice place especially for hiking and stuff you know you're not you're not in the middle of the town so you don't hear any of the noise, even though there's no noise really, let's be honest, it's so quiet. And that's the spa over there. I might have to end up going there because it does look really tempting. And the views you would get from there, because it's sort of out in the open, when the, when the, clouds, are not, when the clouds are not there, you'd get a really, really good views all around. So this is the accommodation I could have booked. Yeah, it's really cool actually, I like the look of them. I don't know how warm they'd be. Pretty cool location though for them. Look at that. Beautiful view. We'll take the scenic route to the spa. Now I've got several plans now, several plans for places to go and explore. And because I've got my waterproof trousers, I don't really I don't really care about the rain, guys. I've decided that I just don't care about it. I'm just gonna hike anyway. Because the worst thing that's going to happen is, well, nothing really, because I won't get wet. Let's go off-road. After all, we're in a skiing town. Let's go off-piste, guys. How funny would it be if the second I go off-piste, I immediately get bitten by a snake? <laughs> that would be so unlucky. One tried to bite me in Croatia, actually. It came this close to biting my ankle. I just My ninja reflexes, I just jumped out of the way. You can just see the top of that mountain there. And the clouds come out of the way and you can't see the helicopter over there but I can. Here we are again on the square. I wonder how many times I've walked past this square and just in the last day. I suppose I should investigate this church. Wow it's such a big dock. <laughs> I suppose I should investigate this church. Well it should be here. I think it might actually be attached to this hotel but yeah, I have a feeling it's part of this hotel. I just want to make sure. Okay, yeah, I think it's at the top of there. Okay, let's go. on the sixth floor, 30 euros, not bad, but, oh yeah, there's some pictures here, I don't know if you can see this, nice views, but I needed something to relax after my day of hiking, because it's been intense, very intense day of hiking, and my feet are all swollen and horrible. <laughs>
Thank you. Right, you can actually see it much better now. This is what I'm hoping it's going to be like on Saturday when I go up the Aguil de Midi and up to the top of that. <clears throat> anyway, just had a really good meal at Porco Loco, which means a little bit crazy in Spanish. Very good. They did a very good uh, vegetarian burger, but it was all cramped into like a really thin area. Anyway, I'm done for the day. I know this was out earlier. I guess it's a uh, nightclub thing. It's quite cool. I can only record another 10 minutes of footage on this camera, on the SD card. It's so tempting to just keep filming everything, but I want to save some for when we get over there in the valley. It's so beautiful. Though. And it looks so different when there's no clouds, obviously, because you can see all the way up there. Well, it's been a very action-packed day. I actually, I spoke to this girl at the spa and she gave me directions to three hikes, which I'm going to do over the next few days, which are going to be, they should be beautiful. One of them's a lake, one of them's um, another waterfall, and then the other one's like a valley, but really high up the valley. And I'm really excited about doing that. It's going to be so good. You can see the clouds just hiding everything. Here's what I want you to do, okay? Pretend for a moment that the like button and the subscribe button are like... They're like... It's like a game of whack-a-mole, okay? So you want to hit them as fast as you possibly can. Now, whether that means click or punching your computer screen or something like that, throwing your phone against the floor, you just want to hit them. Hit them hard. <laughs> 